What is net neutrality? Perhaps the best way to understand net neutrality is just to think about what it means to wait in line and how you feel when people cut. Right now, there is no cutting on the internet. Whether you're binge watching the latest hit on Netflix or flipping through a little known webzine, the information flows to you at the same speed. This no cutting approach has been standard practice for decades and has proved a special boon to startups who can be confident their websites will be just as accessible as those of bigger, better established competitors. But this ideal of net neutrality is a money loser for companies like Comcast and Time Warner who provide internet access. To understand why, think of the lines at airport security. Cutting is allowed there if you pay an additional fee for priority access. And in a world without net neutrality, your internet provider could do the same thing, either by charging users more for speedy access to their favorite sites, or by making big companies pay for priority service. Then they could use that money to improve their networks, increase worker salaries, or pay dividends to shareholders. Maintaining net neutrality was a priority under President Obama. I am unequivocally committed to net neutrality but not under President Trump. His pick for chair of the FCC is a former Verizon lawyer who is promising to suspend the no-cutting rule. If that happens, companies may offer to let you cut in line on the internet for a fee. But if you say no, you may have to wait as others slip past you to get their videos and information first. A final vote on net neutrality is expected in December.